let's talk about making a self-grading quiz. So I've actually already got a Google form created as a, um, as a quiz. This was one that I had previously created back when I was still in the classroom for my eighth graders. So I've got the, the quiz filled in. I do always collect student email addresses. I had to turn it off for this so that you would be able to see this. But I also added a question for their first name and their last name and for the class period. This allowed me to sort the results, have all of the students dump into one Google form, but I was able to separate out the results by class period. So to turn this into a self-grading quiz, you're going to click on the gear wheel and the third tab over here, quizzes. Now keep in mind, if I was working still in my own classroom, I would definitely turn it on to restrict to just my school. This also allows me to collect email addresses. But for the purpose of this video and this presentation, I am turn those off. So for quizzes, you're gonna come over here, you're gonna make sure this toggle switch is on. In this case, since it's all multiple choice, there's nothing that I would need to hand grade. I will click the immediately after submission, they're going to get their grade back. Now these settings will look a little bit different if you choose to do this through Google Classroom. So that will be handled in a different video. Down here, this respondent can see, so that means that the student will be able to see anything that I have checked here once they receive their grade back. So when they get it back, they'll be able to see their missed questions, I have taken off that they can see the correct answer and then yes, they can see the point value. So once you have these settings set the way you would like to, click save, but you're not finished. When you choose a question, it's going to give you now the option down in the lower left hand corner to utilize the answer key. Their first name doesn't, isn't worth any points and there's no right or wrong answer to this, so I leave that alone. It stays at zero. Same with last name and same with class period. Those do not get graded. And if you look in the upper left or upper right hand corner, you're going to see up here your total point value for this quiz. For the first question, I'm going to come in here, make sure that it's required, and click the answer key. I'll assign it some sort of point value, whatever the question is worth. And then here's where you actually create your answer key. Remember, I'm in on the editing side. So here's where I, as a teacher, am going to go through and I'm going to uh, pick the correct answer. Ooh, no, this is the right answer, D. Now, what you can do in addition is you can add answer feedback. So here you have two options. If they choose the wrong answer, you can give them feedback. So when they get their responses back, maybe they will see, um, please reread chapter four, lesson three. I'm making this up at this point. You can also include a link or even a video. This is where you can really start to build in some great power with these self-graded quizzes to where the students don't have to wait until you're able to hand back the quiz or they don't have to wait until everybody is done, they can go ahead and start working on the areas that they've missed. If you uh, want to provide feedback for the correct answer, you could say, you know, great job. And then you click save. What you'll need to do is go through each question, go to the answer key, assign it a point value, and you are going to click the correct answer, provide any answer feedback that you want, save, done, and notice my point value is ticking up. Okay, I've gone through it and I've set it up as a self grading quiz. I have 12 questions and up here in the right hand corner, it shows that I have 12 points. What I always do is I preview the, the quiz and I actually go ahead and I take it so that I can look for grammar errors, I can make sure that the flow of it is correctly, the wording sounds correct. So I click on the eyeball and I go ahead and I might put in answer key, I might put in, you know, fake student, like a class period, and then go ahead and read these. 
Um, I do like to try to um, get some of them right, get some of them wrong, uh, just so that I can kind of check to see what it actually looks like. And a lot of the times I just randomly select. Um, so what I do is I broke it up. I have a section, so I click Next. Notice I inserted an image, and I've given the students directions. This would be a great time for me to go, oh, that text is too light. I might need to change the color um, of the background. So I would go through. I'd pick some answers and go ahead. And when you submit, it's going to take the students to the final screen and then they can view their score right here and you can see that i got nine of 12 correct so here is where it's going to give me uh, the question it clearly indicates that it's wrong and it gives me some feedback notice it does not show me the correct answer because i did not have that option selected so I can scroll through, I can see all of my answers. And that is an example of a self-grading quiz.